In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Words are important. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 19 verse 14 We all need to study the life of Christ and the lessons he gave, that we may know how to conduct ourselves in our relation one with another. Cherish the soothing influence of the Spirit of God. Remember that speech is a talent of great value if used aright, and that out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Remember also that by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Unadvised words often create difficulties which otherwise would not exist. We are placed in this world to be children of God and to prepare for the future immortal life. Speak no unkind, thoughtless words. As you associate in family relationship, be careful to speak kind, tender words which will comfort and encourage. Do not forget the little acts of kindness which do so much to help the member of the family who is struggling with infirmities which no one but himself can understand. It does not pay to persist in having one's own way, to be unwilling to yield in the little things which are of small consequence, thus bringing bitterness and wrath into the home. Life is too short, too full of sorrow. We have no time to spare for the bruising of any sore, tempted heart. Let each one be kind and considerate of the other. Never let the sun go down upon your wrath. Never close your eyes in sleep without making right the little pettish difficulties which hurt and bruise the soul. When you are tempted to think or speak unwisely, kneel wherever you are and pray till you find rest in Jesus. I am sure that he will not leave you or forsake you. You may scorn yourself because of your passionate utterances, but remember that Jesus pities you and that he will heal you, body and soul, if you will do his bidding. Here is his word to you. Let him take hold of my strength that he may make peace with me and he shall make peace with me. Isaiah 27 verse 5 Jesus desires to make celestial harmony in your soul. Read his words, not with discouragement, but with confidence and hope. Listen to the blessed words which God speaks to you. Walking with Christ means to believe that, though unseen, Christ is walking with you.